Dr Alan Duffy is an astrophysicist with Swinburne University in Melbourne. Today he was attending meetings to help work out the logistics of how Australian scientists would be involved in the Breakthrough Listen project. Alan, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. Tell us how, how you felt when you heard this news. It's like Christmas came early and you didn't even know it was Christmas. <laughs> this is... A uh, hundred million dollars is, is an incredible amount of money to put behind any one project. To have it arrive the way it has, where it's really just been gifted, means because government's not involved, this thing has happened quick. But by the end of the year, we'll be running this project. Within 10 years, we hope to have surveyed a million stars, to have created every day as much data has been achieved in a year of any previous survey. This is just an unbelievable step change in our ability to find any so of So why is this an important project? I think it's the heart of the big question. Are we alone? I mean, I'm an astronomer, so maybe I'm somewhat unique in this, but when I look at the night sky, I do often find myself wondering, is anyone else looking back? <laughs> Perhaps paranoia, I'm not sure. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it gets to the heart of what it means to be human, is to go to wonder, to explore, and to see if we're unique and alone. My question is, what is our definition of intelligent life? And I guess as a follow-up, would we qualify? <laughs> so, I'll take the latter first, and some days I'm not sure. But certainly, uh, we're talking now advanced technology. We're talking radio signals, TV radio indeed itself, uh, perhaps the aliens have got a bit fancier, have upgraded to laser-based communications, so we're looking for that too. So Parks and the Green Bank Telescope in the United States, they're leading the search for the radio wave component, and the um, Lick Observatory in the States is trying to find these glints of laser light in the darkness. So would there actually be people modelling what alien intelligent life would be doing? To look, like, is someone thinking about that at the moment? We're certainly thinking of it, but we don't want to uh, have any preconceived ideas of what, what to look for. So instead, we're looking for anything that's basically bright, uh, very sharp bit of signal and repeats. And that's, that's gold us. At that point, you'll, you'll see with the astronomers celebrating, we've got it. Seems to me that one of the great benefits of the space race was what it bred in terms of other industries, new ideas, new technologies and so on. Do you expect the same sort of thing out of this exercise? Yeah, well, look, we're very excited uh, sitting here in Australia. We're about to have our capacity increased enormously thanks to the technological yeah. upgrades that come with this uh, funding. It's not just to essentially uh, use the telescope for that time, it's to upgrade it as well. As well as that, I think one of the biggest things will be the digital challenge. We have an enormous amount of data to search. That will be done in a way that is open source. Yuri Milner has said himself he wants a Silicon Valley approach. He wants this data to be out there for the general public to try to find the signal themselves. And look, if computer coding isn't your forte, you can also just download the SETI at home screensaver and it'll just crunch the numbers while your computer is idle. Yeah. So if we do pick up signs of life, how do we then go about communicating with them? Yeah, so this is something that uh, Stephen Hawking in particular is very adamant about. We, we are in the business of listening, or at least we should be. Uh, when you arrive in the jungle, you don't start shouting and hollering. You, you just sit quiet and can you hear any tigers? So this is where we're at right now. We're listening. There is a component of the project, and it's called uh, the Messenger, and that is a $1 million prize, essentially. If you can come up with a succinct message that encapsulates as much information about us to some alien, that's also understandable because it will be challenging for us to learn anything about them and so, too, for them to learn about us. $1 million for the message. It's going to be a good message. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, if we do pick up signs, it's conceivable that it comes from an advanced civilization with a self-destructive streak like us that may no longer exist. Might, that couldn't it be the case? That's exactly right. Look, uh, the universe and, and the galaxy itself is, is so enormous, it takes light hundreds, if not thousands of years to travel between the stars. It's entirely conceivable that signal you're picking up is just a, a light echo. And the civilization that gave rise to that TV show, perhaps, has long since gone. So, How many years back could we be talking about? Uh, we'll be surveying, indeed, we'll actually be looking at uh, galaxies, the closest galaxies. Those are millions of light years away. So we are talking a geological time before the rise of humanity will pick up that signal. And that's the challenge, because for aliens listening to us, we've only been shining out, electromagnetically speaking, with TV, radio and the like, for 100 years. We were invisible before that. So that's the real challenge. If we don't detect anything nearby, maybe we're either first or we've just missed a civilization. So, so what does a win look like? Like, what, what are you trying to achieve? I'm just trying to get the most science possible out of this. Uh, along the way, we'll get, uh, we may or may not get the signal, uh, and that will be followed up. You can uh, be shared with absolutely every telescope on Earth. But 
In the meantime, we'll have incredible insight into the stars we're surveying to these galaxies. We will find weird things out there and that will result in new science, as well as the capacity enhancement for Australian astronomy. Alan, just finally, uh, how do people follow this project? Because it's very open, very transparent, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, check out SETI at home. This is the uh, go-to place for your, your little bit of the data. That so you that's SETI, S-E-T-I? S-E-T-I, at home.